but each one of these was $1.99 and this would cost so much money. <laughs> it was half off, so it was 75 cents. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I run the blog called Mrs. Midwest. Today we are going to be doing a vlog that has been highly requested. An entire vlog dedicated to thrifting with yours truly. You guys know that I am a thrift connoisseur and so today I'm going to be taking you along with me. I'm going to be telling you my thought process. I'm going to be telling you why I bought something, why I didn't, and hopefully we're gonna find some cute home goods, maybe a cute outfit or two. I don't know, I budgeted for this. So before we go, I'm excited to tell you all that we do have a sponsor for today's video and it fits our money saving theme for the vlog. I wanna give a big thank you to Ibotta. Ibotta is a mobile app that helps you earn cash back on everyday purchases. It's the secret to spending less and getting more. Ibotta is 100% free and you can get up to a $20 welcome bonus by downloading the app. I do all my grocery shopping out Walmart as we know and I've used Ibotta to get cash back on bananas and eggs and the cash back is only gonna add up. Click the link in the description box to download the app and to get a sign up bonus. Thank you again to Ibotta and let's get going on this thrift journey. Hi. I have to show you the sweetest. Want to say hi? Before we go I wanted to run you all through this outfit. It's a piece that I wear as a tunic top and I'm wearing it with some thrifted, um, swishy kind of black comfortable pants and then these shoes that are double as rain boots. And then I have this white turtleneck that is new. I bought something new, can you believe it guys? It's from Walmart I, and I bought two others in black because I will wear turtlenecks probably all winter, fall. So apologies in advance, you're going to be seeing a lot of turtleneck outfits on my channel, but it, it's just what I like. <laughs> From a previous vlog um, that's actually a good piece of advice to any of you dog owners you can regularly put their hi she's crying at me through the window <laughs> you can regularly put their beds outside to just get it some fresh air let it you know air out that dog smell so you don't have it in your room and it's like permanent stench classical music. I don't listen to it year round, but something about the fall really makes me feel like it's time for classical music. So I will see you at the first thrift stop.
dressing room and I'm so sorry I'm not talking more. I just feel so awkward talking into the camera. This slip dresses are again in style. I kind of like this. I, um, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. obviously too big on me but this is a style I've seen layered with turtlenecks in Korean and Japanese fashion right now. I'm kind of here for it. So there's so much at the store I haven't gone through, but I'm too lazy to fish through all of the good places I want to go. So I might just stick with what I got so far and then head to the next place. Okay, so we are back in the car and I have my favorite places. I have places in the thrift store that I would never touch. You saw the wigs. <laughs> But then there's things that um, I do spend more time in, things like coats, lamps, artwork, kitchenware, things that are very long lasting that someone would have a pretty hard time damaging or destroying to the point of no return. So we are on to our next location. I also have this inclination in fall to listen to crime podcasts because I don't know if I'm feeling mysterious and spooky, but I always try to make sure that I don't listen to them late at night because then I walk around afraid that I'm like gonna get murdered or something. <laughs> my friends, my people, People. leave your podcast recommendations in the comments below because you won't just be blessing me you'll also be blessing your fellow sisters in the comments but anyways on to the next spot I might stop for a coffee treat myself <laughs> shopping trips because I like to save money but I am gonna get a coffee
wait to unbox this stuff with you guys. Um, but we have to jet over to the last thrift store because thrift stores around here close at 5 p.m. Um, one hour left, we're gonna rush over there and then we're gonna head home, unbox some stuff, see the dog and go for a walk probably, but you can tell I've had coffee. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm not addicted to black coffee, but it does help my energy levels in the afternoon. So let's drive over there and again, sorry that I can't talk in the store. It's just too weird around here. <laughs> thrift marathon or any shopping marathon where I just get so tired and I don't care anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna do one more pl place and then we're gonna go home and dig through everything. and we are going to see the dog and then we're going to go through all of the things we got today so I am quite exhausted but it's not a bad thing to be tired from shopping because that's a blessing it's a blessing to be able to buy things and I'm very thankful even though I'm very tired and <laughs> The best part. It's the we are ready to go through some of this thrift stuff I got. I apologize if it gets a little bit dark. It is almost evening. We spent all afternoon thrifting. <laughs> In total, I spent $46.75. So everything you're about to see fits into that budget. So first of all, let's start with the fabric. So I did buy a bunch of fabric and you may be wondering why, but each one of these was $1.99 and this would cost so much money. This would cost so much money online or from Joanne Fabrics. Like you guys have no idea if you don't sew, fabric is expensive. So each one of these was $1.99 and I'm going to make clothing for myself, dresses, maybe some pillows and that fits me really well and it's just the best thing ever. Hold on. These are like my favorite colors, purples and greens and peaches. So thank you to whoever donated that to the thrift store because your girl is happy. <laughs> Got this casserole dish and I know it looks really 1970s and probably a little bit crazy. I have my Disney princess 
side where I just love really cool whimsical things and that's the vibes I get from this. It kind of seems like something you'd buy from Disney World. And then from that thrift store too, I got this pattern. You can see this apron and this longer one. I'm definitely gonna make a simplified version of these, but it's so cute and they have like a reusable bag option. And then this insane hat, which I probably will neither make nor wear. <laughs> I also got this purse. Seen these all over Pinterest. I kind of feel like if you're gonna play with trends, it can be nice just to do thrifting for trends because then you're not spending hundreds of dollars on something that's not going to be in style in a couple years. I did get some pretty boring clothes today. I got this jean skirt you might remember from that store. Um, I've been looking for a skirt like this with buttons down the front and I love wearing skirts and tights and boots in the winter and so I know I'm going to get a lot of good use out of this. And so then we also have this crazy grandma overall dress that I will probably wear at home. Not really like an outfit to look super gorgeous or anything on out on the town or date night, but it's definitely like a working kind of look that I wanted and I kind of love the look. So don't judge me. I like a nice, I like a loose comfy thrift dress every once in a while. Next we have this dress. It has some nice ruffles. So it was just really good quality, not kind of like a stretchy pilled kind of dress. That's really important, okay? If you're buying clothes secondhand, don't buy them if they're stained, if they don't fit well, if you're not super into it, okay? I didn't buy a few of the pieces today that I tried on even though they looked fine on me because I knew I wouldn't wear them. And even though it was $2, $3, it's just not worth it because it's, it's a waste of money. So next we have this. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see kind of my theme here. I like that kind of like whimsical cute like fruit. I don't know. I like I just like intricate design things like this. Like how fun. I, I don't know. Next we have this little art piece that you can hang on a wall. Next we have this bowl and the reason you might think this is just an ordinary bowl but the thing is it's really thick glass. It's made in the USA. It's a vintage kind of bowl and the reason I bought it is because you can see it has this little spout. So I'm planning on scrambling our eggs in here and just boop, pouring it out the side. How nice is that? Okay also I'm like clearly very jacked up but I love thrifting so Sorry. This is kind of weird, but I bought this church, um, Christmas church, because I've been looking for something like this for Christmas decoration. Because I've been looking for something where you can put a candle in and it will give off a really nice glow at night. And I just think it's beautiful, so pretty, and I'm going to put it on a shelf for Christmas. And it was $1.99. Next we have this art piece which you might be wondering why I bought it. <laughs> but I really love anything that looks like a genuine painting for and it matches my house. Next we have these two kind of ink art pieces. Oh, can you see? Yeah, there we go. Um, I like these because I like nautical art in general. I like nautical decor and they're very kind of like masculine chic um, and I could see like, I don't know, arranging them kind of cool. I was really excited about this jewelry box. Um, the reason is it has this beautiful pink lining and usually with old jewelry boxes these linings can get really stained and gross but this one was in really good condition and my jewelry is currently very out of control. I've been looking for a jewelry box. This one is beautiful. It was made in Japan pan it matches my house can't you see it just chilling on that cupboard over there so nicely so amazing love it finally i have this thing <laughs> there was a lady shopping beside me and i asked her i was like do you think i could bake in this and she like she like, investigated it with me and we both agreed it would be perfect for an apple crisp or for displaying food at a party or for decorating your garden <laughs> so you know this stuff isn't like life or death necessary but it was all stuff i had been keeping my eye out for and i got it all for 45 dollars 45 dollars you can get one piece of clothing and instead i got all this stuff so i don't believe with thrifting that you need to look that you need to buy everything you like necessarily. I think it's more about buying what works for you, what's in really good condition, and what you're going to use. Also,
I knew that I already have one similar to it at home. That's an important part. Make sure after you thrift everything, especially the kitchenware, make sure that you clean it. Make sure, <laughs> holding her paw, get all the tape off of it, the price tags, and you will find that things can often look so much better than when you thrifted them. how we end every vlog, isn't it? <laughs> I always have to take my walk. I have to get out into nature. It's just the way things are around here. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently. I'm so happy that you're part of our growing movement. I need to admit that as this channel grows and we get closer to 100,000, I feel excited, but I also feel a little bit nervous because I just, I wanna do a really good job for you guys. I wanna make interesting content and I want you to be inspired and, uh, and I just, I don't wanna disappoint you all because I truly care about you guys. And so my dog is wanting to continue on with the walk. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So we're going to keep walking, but thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button. It does help grow our community. If you are interested in more of this content, please check out my written blog. I have some thrifting content over there and check out some of my older vlogs. I have a fall vlog coming up as well that I'm very excited about. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our video sponsor. I'll leave a comment pinned below if you're interested in the app. And in total, I hope you have a wonderfully blessed and thrifty week, my beautiful sisters.